Clamping to the face of a subject can be difficult unless you have the right tools. And whether you're clamping horizontal or vertical, and although some things can be clamped with a large clamp, not everyone owns multiple size of clamps. And without the right tools, you could be having a long day. And of course you can use tape, but you just won't have the clamping force. And that's where this guy comes in. This is the DIY face clamp attachment. And this can be attached to any standard clamps like this. Just simply slip it in and tighten it up. I'm gonna show you how it's made. Be sure to check the video description to find a complete list of all the materials I use in this video. So I'm gonna take the metal tube now and then I'm gonna mark approximately a half inch from the end. I'm gonna drill a hole right here. And this hole is gonna be for the clamp handle. So I need to drill a hole for the threaded insert to go in this location. And to make it easy, I'm gonna use a smaller bit as a pilot hole. Then I'm gonna switch over to a large bit and make sure that hole go all the way through. Now mark off the approximate depth of this threaded insert. Then I'm gonna take the largest clamp I have and mark the outside of that. I'm gonna cut on the line that I just marked, but I'm not gonna go all the way through. And this was pretty tough to cut by hand, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and run it over to my grinder. Now I did find it easier to lock the grinder in place and then take my subject up against it versus taking the hand grinder and cutting down on it. And this seems to work well. As you can see, I'm using the pliers to keep my hands out of the way while I'm holding it. Now this don't have to be perfect, but it needs to be wide enough to fit your largest clamp. And a hand file will work just fine to clean out that slot. Now I need to drive that piece of wood right into this tube and to lock that into place I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue and this stuff is awesome. It actually swells up and it's going to create a tight bond. Now the next thing I want to do is remove the wood from this section and the main reason for adding the wood was so that I can have something for a threaded insert to grip on. You'll also want to drill out the hole that was previously drilled as well. Now this hole is a little bit smaller than the overall metal hole that's why I didn't drill it all at one time. And on the short side I'm going to also drill another hole for the threaded insert. Now this hole will give me the ability to lock the attachment onto the clamp. Now I don't have the right tool to drive this insert into the wood, so what I'm gonna do is put two of these on one bolt and then tighten that down. Now these can be tough to drive them in, so just give it your best shot and make sure you drive it in straight. And once you get the first thread in there all the way, you can then back the screw out and then that should be good to go. And of course, if you have all the right tools, you can make this entire piece out of metal. Now I really don't need to add any glue on this, but for whatever reason I still added some glue on it, but it won't hurt. The thread is good enough on its own. I'm gonna cut a groove into the threaded rod for my quick DIY swivel pad. Now you guys have never seen me on the lathe before, so if I look like I don't know what I'm doing, you're probably right, this is actually my second time even pulling this thing out. It's been collecting dust for well over two years now and I just wanted to give my best effort at creating a quick and simple handle. And with the handle being complete, I'm now gonna prep it to take the threaded rod. And for the next step, I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole straight down into the rod freehand and try to do that as straight as I can. Then I'm gonna grab a piece of the threaded rod then drive it in to create threads. And now it's time to shellac it. I'm gonna put three coats of that. Now take a small washer and cut one side of that. Now you're gonna wanna open up that washer as wide as you can, deform it if you have to, just to get it over the threaded rod, close it back, and reshape the washer. Now I'm gonna take a bit and drill down into a block of wood, just a little bit, just deep enough for the washer to sit below the surface. Now I'm gonna take a hole saw and then drill that hole out. Now all I need is a small piece of this. I'm just gonna cut that maybe about a half inch thick. Now I do wanna attach a washer at the bottom cause that's gonna be taking all the clamping pressure. I'm gonna take another washer that's smaller than the rod. This way it doesn't go all the way through. Then I'm gonna attach this washer on the bottom. Now I would suggest you add a washer on the bottom and also on the top. You wanna sandwich that wood in between. That way the metal washer absorb all the force. Now just go ahead and sand it down on all sides so that you don't have any sharp edge and round over in the corner that you feel you need to. 
I'm gonna also take some felt's pad and attach it to the bottom to protect any surface. Then I'm gonna clamp this onto the clamp and I'm gonna put the handle on. So I'm gonna try my luck with the Gorilla Glue and the threaded rod at first. If I have any problem in the future, I'm probably gonna run a metal pin through it. But for now, I'm just gonna give it a shot with the Gorilla Glue. So I'm just gonna keep tightening until I can't tighten anymore. Now let's see it in action. 